Welcome back to Sawyer Ridge Farm. I'm Jacob. Uh, today we're going to be doing something uh, pretty cool, something we've been wanting to do for a while. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be cutting down some uh, cedar tree and we're going to be milling a cedar raised bed. Literally from the tree to the garden is what it's going to be. Um, so right now we got a tree set out. We're going to cut it down. We're going to haul it down to the uh, sawmill. We're going to mill it up. And then we're going to take it those pieces into the shop and actually make a cedar raised bed and I think it's going to look pretty neat on kind of design we kind of thought of but right now I got my uh, chainsaw out here and I got the tree um, it's leaning pretty hard that way and we got a pretty strong wind if it's windy on the video that's why and it's going that direction so this tree's going in that direction so we're gonna cut it up and get it hauled out of here. Alright y'all, so we got the log up here on the uh, on the sawmill. It wasn't the easiest thing, but it wasn't too bad. Not as bad as I was expecting. Uh, those actual those cant hooks helped uh, pretty good, as you can see before, turning that log around. And But the uh, if you haven't seen our previous videos, this is a Woodland Mills. It looks like an HM122 model. If y'all are interested in sawmills and stuff, uh, this is actually uh, Jason's at the Crockers. He has it over here because uh, we're milling up some lumber for his tiny cabin. But it's here and he said, hey, treat it as your own. And so that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, I'm going to be cutting this log up. But if you all are interested, uh, we don't know a whole lot about the, you know, we just used it a few times. So we can't tell you if it's, you know, good or and we haven't been around sawmills a whole lot. But just if you all are kind of interested and you see this and it's kind of something you're interested in, that's kind of the model number if you like this. But we're going to crank her up and we're going to start getting some slabs out here for this uh, raised bed.
All right, so we got her milled up, and uh, one thing too is whenever we're milling, like I'm learning, like every time I do this, I'm learning. I am no expert, none whatsoever. This is not a necessarily a how-to on the saw milling, but because I that first cut, I kind of cut a lot of extra off. So I mean, but I'm learning every single time I use it. Any of you that has a mill, put down in the comments anything you kind of see, just. Let me know, be friendly about it, okay? I'm not an expert, like I said, uh, but just let me know if something I can do to make it better. But one thing too is when you start getting into wood, you don't know exactly how it is on the inside. You kind of see here that I mean, this thing was probably dead and the bugs are starting to kind of get to it. So we're probably not gonna be able to make uh, a, as big as a bed that we were kind of wanting to, but we're still gonna make one and it'll still do good. Uh, we'll just probably, you know, cut this end to where it's good, and the other end is kind of the same way. So it'll just be a kind of a little small planter bed for now. But later, I mean, we can make any other bed once we get some really good logs in here and make some really long beds if we want to. But it was kind of a bummer seeing that when we started cutting into it, and I made that really big cut, and I was a little mad with myself. But we're going to get this up, take it into the shop, and we're just kind of going to square everything up and we're gonna kinda of start putting it together. So we got over here and got them all kind of planed up. This one over here, not looking too good. I might try to patch it up a little bit. It's kind of got a little bit of a rot, but not horrible. But you know, this isn't a you know a crazy bed or anything like that. I might try to patch it. I don't know yet. But uh, another thing that I got to do on the top edges, as you can kind of see, we're leaving those live edge. Okay, and I think that's gonna make it look real nice on the top, just give it that rustic look. But I am gonna kinda of just scrape the bark off a little bit. I've heard if you don't take the bark off that the wood will actually uh, rot out a lot quicker than, than normal. So you definitely wanna take it off for uh, you to do that. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then we're gonna be putting together this bed. We got all the uh, bark off the top as you could see and I just did a little bit of a light sanding just to take the rough edges off and everything and now I'm going to be cutting this it's roughly about a four by four now we didn't mill this one today uh, just because that log I you know kind of messed up and it was a little bit of rotted and we possibly could have got a four by four out of it um, but just you know my inexperience and things like that uh, we didn't get that done but I milled this up uh, probably like a week or so ago um, it still came from the farm the same trees and everything it just we didn't mill it today but we did mill it ourselves and so right now I'm gonna just cut us four um, posts then that's what's kind of gonna be in the corners and what's gonna hold up this bed so I'm gonna cut these up and get it to going <laughs> Can't 
plug it in. Yeah, I might help a little bit. All right, so it's the next day and we're gonna be putting uh, all this together and finishing this raised bed here. And we got a visitor right now, he came over today. So he's just gonna help a little bit and then we're gonna be done and we'll show you this final product. Y'all know Jason, so uh, he's probably not gonna help because I want this done correctly. <laughs> but he'll sit there and he'll watch. I mean, I'm looking at these cuts, so. Looks like I Pretty did Pretty dadgum good, right? We'll see when it goes together. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to put this together real quick. Oh, this is the right bit. Did you get that on there? Yeah. Mr. Jason does everything wrong. <laughs> What'd you say a minute ago that we had to um, hold it a certain way because it's not cut good? I don't remember that. Don't remember that at all. Wouldn't get the Crocker stamp of approval, but it's all right for, for a Jacob project. What did you just do over there? <laughs> he pulled the Jason. He was putting the drill bit in and he broke it. Uh, that's the right second right. one in three days. Second one in three days? And he no, makes, not. and you make fun of me? That's why, that's why he can't come to the house and help build. So earlier when they said that I was here to help, I'm here to uh, inspect, not help. Inspector. Sometimes you gotta let your children do things on their own because they'll never learn if uh, you just do it for them. Like yeah, look at that. He told me he's just gonna pack dirt in there. <laughs> He'll text me at night and just be like, uh, one day when I grow up, I hope I can be like you. And um, I watch your videos every day. I'm learning what I can, but it's difficult. You do it really good, Jason. I watch your videos so I know what not to do. What not to do. <laughs> I learn from I would say the mistakes because that's all you make are mistakes. So I just look at your life. And I just I thank God that I don't have your life. <laughs> <laughs> So you think you're, um, he always looks down on me, and not just because he's taller than me. But, uh, <laughs> look at this, man, that's off. It's something called rustic. You ever heard of it? No. I call it um, splitting the diff, and you just move it over just enough to where you can't see it. <laughs> you can't see as bad. You got some drainage under here, too. Exactly. It'll never flood your plants out. That's, that's the point. So Jacob was going to use drywall screws on this, and I told him not to. I said, they'll rot out. You need to use some good screws, so I'm glad he listened. All right, y'all. So we are now done with this raised bed. It's approximately 4x4. Four four. Now, before y'all tear me up in the comments, um, we're, I am not a carpenter by any means. This is the first one I've kind of made like this from the, from the mill. And so I'm still figuring out a lot of stuff on the mill and how to get the boards nice and straight and everything like that. So this isn't perfect. There's probably a thousand better ways to, to build this bed. But guys, I've already learned a bunch. Jason even helped a little bit on letting me know some things. <laughs> it's crazy, I know, but there is some good to them. Uh, but we really like how it turned out. It, it look, I think it looks really rustic and just the color and it definitely will work its purpose for holding in dirt. So we're really excited uh, getting this done. Jason, what do you uh, kind of think about it? Oh, well, so I saw it before it was put together when I first walked in and instantly, I didn't know they were doing We talked about it, but I didn't know they were doing this. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, that's awesome. Uh, I think it's super cool that literally from tree to final product, now you can grow food in it. And I know the color won't stay that long, and I know you probably can't tell too much, but man, these, it's still like purple in here. And it's just such a cool color, and then like over time it's gonna be more of that brown color. But I like the imperfections, it's rustic, and like I said, tree, like literally you took something growing in your yard, you turn into something else, and now you're gonna grow, grow more stuff my yard. that will yeah. benefit you more than a cedar tree. So. I don't think it's any And another that. thing too is all this was free. Literally yeah. the only thing that I 
which already had the screws. So in a sense, this bed was absolutely free to make, other than just a little bit of time, and I love doing this stuff, and I love learning. Now, another thing from the beginning of this video, we didn't tell you, and Jason doesn't know this either, he's seen it firsthand, we're actually giving this bed to Jason. What? Okay? Yeah. <laughs> no, you're not. Yeah, I am. <laughs> We watched his coffee with the Crockers, and he was talking about doing a small garden, so... Are you being serious right now? Yeah, we're being serious. Is, he doesn't know this at all. He doesn't know it. Well, this bed, I, if I knew that, I would have helped build it, so it would have been better. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, why you didn't care, because it's going to me. Yeah. Uh, oh, wow, I didn't. It was. <laughs> so, yeah. You'll probably see this on his videos to some time, whenever... Now you have to get it. Well, let's take garden. it apart and redo it, so it's a little bit better. <laughs> Dude, that's why I had no idea. <laughs> yeah. Um, honestly, we really wanted to make one, and uh, we knew that he needed one. He was kind of thinking about doing it, and so we just thought, hey, let's just do it, because I, I want to get on that sawmill as much as possible just to learn, because every single cut I do, I learn. So, and we thought, why not? You know, this is something he can put in the back of his truck bed, take it home, and it's not a huge garden, but it gives them, you know, enough to just do a couple plants, something they want to do at his house. So, and I think it's going to go really well with just the whole design and the look at his property. So, I'm blown away. <laughs> there you go. I didn't expect that at all. And the funny thing is, because I um, was cleaning up and I took all those boards and stuff out that I had the two by sixes, and I really thought about. It. I was like, man, I want to do a raised garden bed, but I don't want two by six. It it wouldn't match everything that's going on there. So I thought about getting like logs and stuff there and kind of piling them up. So I'm shocked. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. I had no idea. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. Well, guys, if you like this video, hit the like button. Got any questions about anything, put it down in the comments. Um, subscribe. If you're not subscribed to our channel, hit that bell for notifications so you can see these new videos like we do. Uh, but as always, take care and God bless.